So Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck are officially over. Again. I know, I know, it feels like we've been here before. But this time, there's something different. It's strategic. Let's talk about the DNC week. It's a big deal. Everyone's eyes are on the news, the politicians, the drama. So what better time to drop a bombshell like a divorce filing? It's like she's playing a game of chess and the rest of us are just trying to figure out the rules. However, we cannot forget that she filed for divorce by herself. There was no prenup, no settlement, but the rumors of a potential split have been flying around for months now, and now she's using the veil of politics to escape the potential drama from her divorce. J-Lo filed for divorce from Ben Affleck today, and there's kind of a lot of significance going on here. Honestly, the rumors began a few months ago, and people kind of figured this might have been the direction that this was all heading in. Because not only did they list their house for sale, but then Ben bought his own home, and they hadn't been seen together for a while. Because I know a lot of you are going to assume and ask, these two didn't have a prenup. Like, think about the amount of films, commercials, albums these two have been in over the past few years. Like, they really thought it was ending. It makes me sad, because these two obviously started dating back in 2002, and then they called it quits, and then they got back together a couple years ago, and then and they got married and now here they are they just couldn't make it work JLo actually filed for divorce by herself she didn't use an attorney at all but she listed the date of separation as april 26 meaning that they haven't been together for a couple of months the actual date for the divorce file was on august 20th which is the second year anniversary of their second wedding because they got married first in vegas in july of 2022 and then they got married a second time in georgia with like family and friends and everyone so that's where we're at with this divorce. I'm sure we'll be getting a newsletter with more details. J-Lo's got a lot going on. Kids, a canceled tour, This Is Me Now album flop, Diddy Rumors, and let's not forget that whole being married to Ben Affleck thing. It's a lot to handle. And let's face it, sometimes you just need a fresh start. Now, I'm not saying she's heartless. I'm sure she's going through her own stuff. But let's be real, this is a strategic move. She's trying to minimize the fallout. She knows it's going to be a big story but she's making sure it's her story on her terms.